We're currently in a very challenging situation, extremely busy, and the busier we are, the more we fear mistake. I want to ask you all, first of all, this is made of stainless steel 316. The customer sent it back. First thought, damn it, we're done for. How could we make such a stupid mistake? She know these angles like this, I couldn't help but have an idea. I want to ask you all, with stainless steel 316, after pickling, whether the angles change. If the angles remain unchanged, then I have solid grounds to say it bent during transport. Bent under pressure. Because I don't believe. We can mess up the product. Look at this damn mess. Our purposes. Hit to customer. Our products must be customer standards. When angles. Once they're bent, we've tried every possible method. Flat film and straight blades. Square tubes. Even hammered it now. Let me show you all my final resolution. Take a look at this product. The current angle is 86 degrees. That's four degrees short. I believe Master would never make such a fundamental mistake. 87. We use a straight plate with clearance and bottom bending. What about the return? He not only bends, but also reshapes the mill. Whoa! Uh, this position. <laughs> Pressure starts here. At this point, we press downward. Then seat right push open. The upper and lower dies open. Now check the angle. This side is reading 88 degrees. Luigi. Another party. Once it gets to this point, the reshaping process begins. Six, seven. Over here. Okay, take a look. Yes. Pressing angle here. Come on. Luigi. Currently, it's within half a degree tolerance. So what hair? You should hope I, Lin Chiang, stay around longer, since whenever I run into problems at work, my solutions... I'll freely share them with all of you. Need cheap metal? Can't you guys? But now, we are pretty busy. Let's catch our breath. Got questions? Ask Lin Chiang. 